U.S. Department of Agriculture said this week it began issuing payments to many farms enrolled in ag risk coverage and price loss coverage programs during the 2015 crop year. The total across the country will amount to more than $7 billion. Nebraska's Farm Service Agency says it estimates about $700 million could be distributed in this state. Earlier this week, we talked with Dan Steinkruger, Nebraska's state FSA executive director, to learn more about that news. We're processing the 2015 ARC PLC payments uh, in our offices across the state and across the country. Uh, in, in Nebraska, it, uh, those payments will be significant again this year. A uh, little, little bit more money uh, in some additional counties uh, this year. So uh, those uh, amounts should be showing up in, in uh, producers' accounts in the, in the coming days. What do you think is important for producers to know about, you know, the differences in the programs, the differences in the programs that they enrolled in when they might get their money? Well, once again, the, uh, the uh, ARC program is a county revenue program, so it does differ county to county. Uh, and we also this year have payments under the price loss coverage program, uh, and we had a significant participation for wheat and grain sorghum. Uh, under under price loss coverage and we've got some pretty significant uh, uh, payments under that program this year. You're also getting ready to issue CRP payments. Tell me about that. Well, that's right. We're processing the annual rental payments under the Conservation Reserve Program. Uh, there again, those will go out over the next two or three weeks. Uh, and that's a, a little over $60 million in Nebraska. Uh, CRP participation is, is down. We're around just under 800,000 acres in Nebraska, but it's still a substantial acreage and program in this state. Where's the national cap at and why might that be important? Well, the, the national cap uh, was set, uh, it was 25 million acres last year. Uh, on October 1, uh, we moved to 24 million acres. Uh, currently, USDA has about 23.9 acres enrolled, so uh, the, the department's monitoring that cap but we did open up enrollment on the continuous program this week and under the uh, Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program uh, in the Platte Republican area. There have been some discussions about the loans that FSA issues and whether or not there's going to be enough money left in the tank because of the tight margins that producers are facing. Can you elaborate on what's happening there? Well, I, I think, um, you know, with, with lower commodity prices and and uh, lower prices in the livestock industries. We've seen a, a higher demand for, for our farm loan programs. Um, and we had a record year in over the last fiscal year and, and ran out of money uh, for lending. Uh, you, you know, going forward, uh, we're now in a new fiscal year. We'll catch up on the loans that we have. But, uh, you, you know, the, the ag industry is lobbying Congress to increase funding for loan programs you know, just anticipating that higher demand due to, to the uh, ag economy. To close out with, any deadlines that producers need to be aware of? Well, the, the next major deadline we face is, uh, is a November 15th acreage reporting date for winter wheat uh, and our pastures and, and perennial forages. Uh, we, we moved that date to November 15th to align it with crop, the crop insurance program. And uh, for our ranchers and uh, and, and our farmers that have pasture, the importance of, of reporting by November 15th on those programs is the uh, emergency livestock programs that were in the, in the 2014 Farm Bill. So, uh, and there is, a, there is a feature now where they can report that and then just roll it over year to year to, to make that easier. But we, we ask that they look at that date and, and uh, contact our offices and get an appointment.